Hey guys, welcome back to my Spurs My GM. It's been a very long time since I've last done a My GM, but it feels like that's basically all the time. I was originally going to plan to do this as a live commentary, but I just really didn't feel like doing one because it's been so long since I left. See, I can't talk. It's been so long since I last done a My GM. I thought I'd just sit down and do a regular good old fashioned commentary over it. Uh, and I was going to do the All-Star break, but I found out that none of my players on my team made it to the All-Star game, the three-point contest, or the dunk contest. So this was basically going to be just showcasing the All-Star game, and then afterwards I would be able to continue on with the regular season. But I did that, and nothing good came out of it. I had none of my players in the All-Star weekend, and it was basically pointless for me to even showcase and after I simulated the All-Star weekend, Tony Parker was upset. He deserved to be in that All-Star game. And if he was in that All-Star game, I would have showed you guys and I would have played West versus East or East versus West. I would have played that match just because of Tony Parker. I would showcase all the highlights from him and him alone. But that wasn't the case. So after our NBA Finals rematch with the Miami Heat, I ended up just simulating past All-Star Weekend and past the trade deadline as well, going up against the Portland Trail Blazers. Originally, I had this matchup planned out for like the third episode of my MyGM series, but since my recording didn't record back then, it got messed up. I couldn't record and upload it for you guys, so I'm recording it now. And this is the long-awaited Spurs and Portland game. This this rivalry, I don't even know if you want to call it a rivalry. But I believe it's a rivalry because of the best power forward in the NBA right now, and Tim Duncan. And one of the other best power forwards in the NBA, and LaMarcus Aldridge, who basically has a good game, such as Tim Duncan. A solid mid-range game and post-up presence. Not only the rivalry between these teams, but these two teams are the two teams I'm using my MyGM series on. The Spurs and the Portland Trail Blazers. Don't worry, the Portland Trail Blazers my GM is coming back soon. I just haven't been able to get a chance to record them because I've been busy. I really have, and now that I have better internet, trust me, there's going to be a lot more my GM, a lot more NBA 2K stuff, and a lot more different things that you guys may not be accustomed to seeing on my channel. With the season halfway over at this point i'm not going to be playing that much more games of this season probably like i said one or two more games of the regular season and then we're going to be posting the playoff games i should also mention come playoff time these are the last few years of Manu Ginobili and tim duncan's career and in nba 2k 14 you don't know when they're going to retire if they're going to retire if they lose a championship or win a championship maybe stay a few more years if they win or maybe stay a few more years if they lose. It's unpredictable with these things. And the whole purpose of this My GM series, or at least the Spurs My GM series, is to retire Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili with at least one more ring under their belt. That's why throughout the season we did those major moves for Derek Williams and DeMarcus Cousins because I think that's the youth movement they needed. And the only way we'll find out about that is come playoff time, which is a few more episodes down the road. So. If you guys want the season to, or the My GM series to go on longer, then feel free to let me know in the comments. But as of right now, that's what I'm going to be planning on doing. Hopefully, they don't retire right after this year because I would like this to at least go on to two or three seasons at the most. Personally, I want the happy ending for Tim Duncan and Manu and Tony Parker too, even though if he's younger than them and has more years left in the tank than them. But it's going to be a sad day in the Spurs community when Tim Duncan... Manu Ginobili retire and Greg Popovich decides to call it quits that's going to be a dark era of the Spurs unless they could get something going and draft a, a good guy under the radar like they normally do I just hope for the best for them and I, I know they're going to do pretty good but they might have that one year where just like when David Robinson got hurt they might be a little shaky might get a high overall draft pick but I believe in the Spurs and their strong organization. They're a team like no other, and I wish more basketball teams played as consistent and good as they do. So that's why in this My GM series, I try to replicate that a little bit, but also made it more, uh, I guess, daring by trading for DeMarcus Cousins and De Derek Williams, because I don't see the Spurs doing that. I mean, could be a possibility, who knows? 
But that's kind of a risky move right there. And DeMarcus Cousins actually comes out big for us in this game. Gets a total of 16 points, uh, 5 rebounds. That's a good stat line for a guy like that. For the minutes we play and the difficulty we play on, I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. Like every game, it's another close game. Getting a little bit better playing Superstar, but then again, I say that all the time, and then the next game, I may just get absolutely torn apart by then. So, you never know with these things. And I'm just going to hope that my luck keeps up and I continue to beat Superstar bots. And at the end of the day, we won the game. So, look forward to more MyGM videos in the future. Next episode, we're going to be going up against the Sacramento Kings if my recording doesn't fail me. So, look forward to that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.